If I told you, metaphorically speaking, that Saturn and Jupiter have a belt around it, what would pop into your mind first? You'd probably think I was talking about Saturn's and Jupiter's rings circling around them like a belt may circle around your waist. But what if I said, Earth has belts around it that both Saturn and Jupiter also have, only these ones have nothing to do with beautiful rings. What belts am I talking about then? Well, this lesson will tell you what uh, these belts are, and how similar or different they are from one another based on the planet we're talking about. Earth has two belts, called Van Allen belts, where it traps energetically charged particles like a magnet traps metal. The Van Allen belts are located in the magnetosphere, the outermost part of any planet's atmosphere, the part dominated by the planet's magnetic field. Like Earth, Jupiter and Saturn also have magnetic fields. Since they are big planets, the magnetic fields on Jupiter and Saturn are very strong, and their magnetospheres are much larger than that of Earth. The magnetospheres of Jupiter and Saturn function in much the same way as Earth's as they force the solar wind to flow around each planet like water is forced to flow around a big rock in a stream of water. The solar wind that flows around a planet is a stream of plasma coming from the sun. The sun's diameter is ten times smaller than the diameter of Jupiter's magnetosphere. Jupiter's magnetotail, the part of the magnetosphere located behind a planet, actually extends far beyond the orbit of Saturn. And while Saturn's magnetosphere isn't as impressive as Jupiter's, it's still very large. The inner portions of Jupiter and Saturn's magnetospheres trap ions and electrons and thus act just like Earth's Van Allen belts. As on Earth, when energetic particles in these belts interact with the upper atmospheres of Jupiter and Saturn, they produce beautiful aurorae, which are those bright and pretty lights we typically see at the Earth's polar regions, except the aurorae produced on Jupiter and Saturn are even brighter. So far in this lesson, it seems like the magnetospheres of Jupiter and Saturn and their related concepts are basically the same as they are for Earth, except on a larger scale. However, there is one critical difference between Earth and those two Jovian planets. Earth's magnetosphere contains ionized gas that's captured from either the solar wind or its upper atmosphere. Jupiter and Saturn's ionized gas in the magnetosphere mainly come from elsewhere. The major source of ionized gas in Jupiter and Saturn's magnetosphere is their respective satellites, that is to say, their moons. For instance, Jupiter's moon Io is volcanically active. The volcanic eruptions emit a lot of gas as they do here on Earth. But this gas, composed of oxygen, sodium, potassium, and sulfur, escapes into space. It is then zapped and ionized by solar radiation and in Jupiter's magnetosphere thereafter. The same kind of stuff happens on Saturn's moon Titan, except it's nitrogen gas that becomes trapped in Saturn's magnetosphere. So, now you know what belts these planets have. Earth has two belts, called Van Allen belts, and Jupiter and Saturn have very similar ones as well. All of them trap energetic particles, ions and electrons, within each planet's respective magnetosphere, the outermost part of any planet's atmosphere, that is dominated by the planet's magnetic field. The magnetospheres of Jupiter and Saturn are larger than Earth's and function similarly in forcing the solar wind to flow around each planet. The solar wind that flows around a planet is a stream of plasma coming from the Sun. Jupiter's magnetosphere is especially large, ten times the diameter of the Sun, and its magnetotail, the part of the magnetosphere located behind a planet, extends far beyond the orbit of Saturn. The big difference between the magnetosphere of Earth and that of Jupiter and Saturn is where the ionized gas trapped in their respective belts comes from. On Earth, it comes from the upper atmosphere or the solar wind. For Jupiter and Saturn, it namely comes from volcanic activity in their satellites releasing gas that's ionized by solar radiation and trapped in their magnetosphere thereafter.